Good morning once again and welcome to my study on this very warm Wednesday morning. I'm recording this quite early because it's not as bad. It gets very warm in this little study. I have my fan. Well, it's the only fan I've got. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, during this last week, I've been thinking a lot about what's happening. And one phrase kept coming to my mind. With freedom comes great responsibility. Sometimes attributed to Eleanor Roosevelt, sometimes to other people. Who knows where it came from originally. But it does strike me that that phrase is really very, very true. During this last few weeks we've seen terrible bushfires in North America, in Western Canada. We've seen terrible floods in Europe, floods that have killed well over a hundred people. And the sights of that were just absolutely frightening. As is completely destroyed. Terrible. And then of course we've had COVID restrictions lifted. And some have been calling it Freedom Day. And for many of us, I think that's not an apt word, but even if it is, with that freedom comes responsibility. As a people, we have to recognise that we can't have freedom without responsibility in any sense of that word. The climate changes we're seeing, even this um, heat wave, which we seem to get now, at least once a year, and those fires and those terrible floods have all been put down to global warming. And as humanity, we have a responsibility for that. We have to make sure that in everything we enjoy, and we do enjoy so much this age, that we take our responsibility for this planet, for what we do, really seriously. And with COVID, as we move out of lockdown, as we make sure that we can live some sort of normal life, we have to make sure that we take our responsibility for the safety of ourselves and particularly each other, particularly those vulnerable people who've really suffered during this pandemic. I know it's been uncomfortable for all of us, but some people have really struggled with being on their own, isolated, not having friends, family. And we have surely a responsibility to ensure that everybody is kept as safe as they can. And of course, sometimes people will say, well, if God made this world, why does he let these things happen? But of course, God gave us, every one of us, the ability to have freedom, to do the things that we feel are right, to do the things we want to do, to be what we become. And humanity has made amazing strides, uh, particularly in this last century. And for a lot of us of my age and younger, we've had a really amazing life. We've been very blessed with medicine, with society. We haven't seen a world war, but we have seen other things and we are now starting to see big changes. So we have to take that freedom that God gives us with responsibility. It's been amazing to see the development of a vaccine over such a short time. Our wonderful NHS finding ways to ameliorate COVID. And hopefully the warnings we're now getting will let this world do something about climate change very quickly because we need to. So we have to thank God for our freedom, but we have to make sure that with that freedom we use our responsibility. So let's Try and do that with all the heat, with everything that's happening. Let's take God's freedom and make sure we're responsible, every one of us.
And let's end with a prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the freedom you give us, for the freedom that lets us live wonderful lives. As we take hold of that freedom and use it, ensure that we are responsible and follow your word to ensure that everyone is loved as you would want us to be loved. Amen.